Okay, I thought this recording would be useful because the Microsoft Graph is fantastic and it got me out of a little bit of a corner here. So what I did was I wanted to convert a Word document that I'm creating and uploading um, for a customer. And what I need to do is change environments. They obviously have various DTAP environments, so they have dev, UAT, pre-production, production. So it became a little bit nasty once we started packaging the solutions and deploying it. So there's, there's quite a nice little turn, uh, workaround to fix this. So what I've done, first of all, is I've just gone into my OneDrive and in the root folder, I've gone and created this um, copy of a folder um, document, which is a Word document that is going to get converted into a PDF. So if I save that and I run it, and you can see it's worked. Okay, so all pretty straightforward so far. Now, when I want to package this and push it to another environment, um, I've got a bit of a problem because I actually want to use a service account for this uh, conversion, um, let's say in production. I was like, okay, I don't really know how to trace uh, the root folder. So what I did was I opened up um, Graph. Um, I've signed in as myself, um, but the principle would apply to the service account. You'd have to be logged in here as the service account you want to use. I come down to OneDrive. Uh, so just give me my list of items. That's the code I can use. So what I can do is I can use settings uh, when I use my uh, DevOps pipeline and I can overwrite it. But uh, in this case, I'll just show you within the same environment. So if I come back here, I can edit it. And instead of doing this, I'm going to enter a custom value. Now, this would obviously be an environmental variable um, that you set. And I'm going to save that. And I'll run the test again. 